Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace from websites and online stores to marketing tools and to analytics. Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to share with you guys a few tips on how to prepare your iPhone or iPads to update to iOS 13. Now, on September the 10th, today is September the 9th, so tomorrow Apple will be taking on stage to announce the brand new iPhone 11. Now at this event, Apple also announces the official release date for the next generation of iOS, iOS 13 this year. So today will be a great day to start preparing your devices for the next generation, for the future, for iOS 13. I'm going to share a few tips on how you can make this transition very smooth. Now I'm also going to be talking about a few things you can do after you update to iOS 13. So let's begin. So first First things first, when do I expect iOS 13 to be released worldwide? You guys continue to ask. Now, first thing I do want to mention is that we do not know if Apple will be releasing iOS 13.0 or 13.1 as the first official major release for iOS. This is kind of weird. Right now, we still have 13.1 beta 2 as well as iOS 13.0 beta 8. So I'm not sure what Apple will be announcing tomorrow, but my predictions on the release date, rather is iOS 13.0 or 13.1, it looks like Apple will most likely announce this on the 16th, the week of the 16th, no later than the 20th of September. We should have iOS 13 or 13.1 released to the world and everyone will be able to download it. Now, the first thing you want to do is of course back up your device this is a must of course we already know this we can back up to a physical device like a computer or back up to the cloud but a few things that you may want to consider doing under the iCloud settings if you haven't done that just yet is enabled messages within the cloud so if this toggle is off you can turn it on and this will guarantee that if anything goes wrong within the updating process from iOS 12 to iOS 13 all of your messages will be saved in the cloud and when you re-log into your device rather is on iOS 12 or iOS 13 they will pop populate back into your device and you won't lose your messages. So if you don't want to lose your messages, make sure you go to iCloud settings and enable this so that you have all your messages synced through all of your devices just in case something goes wrong through the update process. Now iCloud backup, this should be on by default. This normally backs up your device overnight when connected to Wi-Fi in a power source as well, but you can do a physical backup yourself in case you didn't have this option on. Again, you can go to iCloud settings, iCloud backup, enable it and click backup up and make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and a power source as well. Another thing you may want to consider doing before updating to iOS 13 is head on over to your iTunes and App Store settings here head on over to offload unused applications. Turn this on for at least 24 hours to 48 hours before you update. What this will do is it will offload any major applications that you're not using for the last two to three days on your device. And then it will be less data for the iPhone to have to transfer over or carry over to the new OS. Remember when we update to a new major version of iOS, there's a lot of app compatibility issues. So offloading unused apps, again, this will automatically offload the apps that you don't use as often therefore preserving data while doing the transition now other things I do recommend doing is head on over to messages and maybe delete any messages that you won't be needing so that the messages in the cloud can sync properly and the less data there is to transfer the easier the transition also sit down and take a minute to look at some of your photos and videos and delete everything that you will no longer need make sure you click delete and when you delete them go to albums and then head on over to the actual recently deleted and delete them from the recently deleted as well. Again, less data to transfer, the easier the process. You can also go over some of your applications and delete any app that you will no longer be needing. Sometimes we have apps on our iPhone that just sit there taking up space and data. So delete those as well. Now, before we do continue with some of these tips, I wanna give a quick word from our sponsors, Squarespace. Squarespace is empowering dreamers and makers all across the world by providing them with tools that they need to bring their creative ideas to life. With Squarespace all-in-one platform, customers can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market their brand. And with their award-winning template, Squarespace makes creating a powerful online identity easier than ever. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects. Whether you're pushing your side hustle or promoting your main gig just like I am, Squarespace will help you achieve your goals. I recently started my very own website, which I want to introduce to you guys. You guys can visit it. Links will be in the description. On this website, I'll be promoting my brand and also sharing beautiful wallpapers with you guys. Links will be in the description for that. And if you ever have any concerns, any questions, anything you need to know, Squarespace provides an award-winning 24-7 customer service. You can chat, you can email, you can also attend their live web 
webinars and they have a very helpful guides on their website as well. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash iDevice help and save 10% off your first purchase for a website or domain. And last but not least, once you update to iOS 13, you may want to clean your device completely from photos and videos. There's a new feature built into iOS 13 that allows you to back up all of your photos and videos directly to one of these right here, a USB stick. So you can buy yourself a USB type C to USB female here or a lightning to USB female and you can connect this to your iPhones or iPads and you can transfer all of your photos and videos very, very easily. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Again, this is after updating to iOS 13. This is a new feature here in iOS 13. So for example, here on this iPad, I can click select. And once I'm updated, I can select every picture and video that I wanna go ahead and remove from the iPad, but save separately on a different device. Once I select them all, I can press and hold and it will bring all of these photos and videos into one single section. You see there are 14. I can swipe up, go to the files application on the iPhone, right here it is, files, and then head on over and find the recovery stick or the USB stick that you have connected. And then you can drop them in here and this will save all of your photos and videos to the actual thumb drive or the actual USB stick there. Boom, just like that, there's transferring and I can save them directly to a separate source on iOS 13. Again, this works on iPhone and iPad OS as well. So I hope you guys enjoy these tips. I hope you found this helpful. Tomorrow, iPhone 11 event. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm super excited for the next generation of iOS, iOS 13. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.